a lot of artists work on instinct and themes and ideas and concepts only come in afterwards. After years and years of shooting, you know, hundreds and hundreds of Polaroids, I started seeing like, oh, there is, there's several themes that kind of go through the work and it's about self-identity. It's, it's about trying to figure out I am, who I am and watching the world, trying to figure out who the world is. I try as much as I can to, to bring an organic uh, feel to everything. I work primarily on computer, but I try really hard to, and do a lot of processes to not look like it was created on a computer. I like things to have stains and rips and tears and, and some things that make them feel real. That's why there's still album covers and packages, is because I think people still like to hold on to things. I was getting a degree in drawing and painting at the University of Georgia. As I was getting my degree, I slowly realized that I didn't want to be an artist for a living. I didn't want to make paintings and go to galleries and beg them to show them and beg people to buy them and try and uh, take that personal expression and commodify it. Simultaneously, I started working on, on fun projects with, with other people and it was, it was collaborative and I was, I was helping other people express themselves. Originally I got hired to work for R.E.M. for a year in 1994 and I, I worked really hard to make myself indispensable. And uh, so after that year, uh, I stayed on and was uh, full-time. When they hired me, I was 23 and had never worked in the music industry, had never worked with a corporation. I was still in school, I was still in college. But they said, you, you're a smart guy and you know, you know what you're doing and you can figure it out. The opportunity that R.E.M. gave me by putting their faith in me and saying that like, dude, you can do this job just as well as these other people can do the job. It's been incredibly important for me to try and pass that idea on to everyone else I can. If, if I look at my, my client list, seeing it written down seems so much different than it is in my head. You know, when I see that, you know, like I've worked with Weezer and Nirvana and Smashing Pumpkins and PJ Harvey and Beck, I think, oh my God, that sounds amazing. So it all seems like this really, it seems really abstract and unreal. If you want to do something, you just have to go and do it because that's the only way you can find out if you can. And then that's the only way other people will find out that you can. The only reason I got hired by R.E.M. is because I spent three or four years before that doing every job for any band for free uh, to show that I could do it. Because no one's going to make you do it. Everyone can talk about it and people can tell if you're just talking or if you can do it.